Hello, my name is Carl Surrey and this is hopefully a very quick tutorial for two Facebook groups, Fans of Serif Software and the Affinity Design and Photo Group. Now, in the Affinity Design and Photo Group, Wayne Tucker asked a question about whether he use Affinity Photo for cutting out the background of this text and having no background in it. Um, and there were you know, quite a few answers down here and at the end of it Wayne Tucker himself added a video which is a Photoshop tutorial about using channels to do the the job for them and I've been having a very quick tinker with this and I have hopefully found the answer he's looking for um, I may be um, missing the point somewhere along the line but I don't think I am um, because basically he wants to sort of keep the texture of this text which I'm guess he's written by hand with a felt tip pen or what have you um, so I'm going to try and recreate this Photoshop tutorial and but use Affinity Photo to do it so I come to Affinity Photo this is the image that Wayne put into the Facebook group and and over here in the channels panel you have the composite red green blue and alpha if i hide each one of these if i turn one of them on we have the um like the red channel that's on this particular document and i i would try and go for the darkest one but they all pretty much look to be about the same sort of darkness there's very little difference between red green and blue possibly the green is very fractionally darker so I'm going to use the green channel for this particular image that I have here I could possibly use the levels tool to make this darker still but if I do that we might lose some of the texture which I'm I'm assuming Wayne wants to keep so once I have just one of these visible I'm going to right click the composite green and then I'm going to put come down to load to pixel selection and what that will do is it will as you can hopefully see with the Martian ants around this image here and around the text it has added as you can see by this icon here the selection into this pixel selection layer down here what I'm now going to do is come up to select and then invert pixel selection and that pixel selection layer will change from a black from a white background with black text to a black background with white text but it's still sort of highlighted but as you can see now the Martian ants are not going around the outside they're just around the lettering and then I'm going to come to edit copy and then to the file menu I'm going to come to new from clipboard or you can do control alt shift and n and there you have the text cut out with no background um, and then you can save this as a PNG with no background um, and I'm assuming this is what Wayne wants because you still got the texture from the um, the felt tip pen or whatever it is that you use and at this point you could then add maybe a levels layer just to make it slightly darker or what have you but that is sort of up to Wayne um, and what I will just do now just as a demonstration I'll select that select all edit copy and just come to this um, colored background which I've just quickly made and I'll just edit and paste and then come to the move tool I'll hold down the control key 
just to keep the perspective and I assume and hope that is what Wayne was after so thank you for watching and goodbye